Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at a wall slide. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> Now, if you've downloaded the sample project found in the description below, we'll have a simple platformer here. It's just a little skeleton where we can move up and down, left, right. We can fall down and collide with objects. This is what we're going to be using to basically push everything on top. So we want to work on a wall slide, and that's going to be easy to do with the setup that we have. So a couple things just to take a look at. We have an object wall. Normally, this is like an object solid has nothing in it. And if we go to the player and we go to the step event, you can see that we are indeed using the place meeting method. If you want me to switch to the tile meeting, just let me know and I'll cover that in a video. Just leave a comment below. All right, so to get working on a wall slide, we need not too much. We basically just need to to figure out when we are against a wall. So let's actually have a variable to do that. Now I'm not gonna use a function here. I'm actually gonna use a variable just because it's gonna be a little bit quicker. I'll say is on wall and I'll set that to false. Now what I wanna do is in the step event is make sure that that's gonna be reset every single time. So I'll have it at the top of my step event. So we are always not gonna be on the wall when this frame comes into play. Now I need to determine when I am on a wall and luckily enough, if we come down here, you can see we have on line 20, a place meeting. We are checking to see if we are going to collide with a wall object. If we are going to collide with a wall object, then we move towards the wall object and set our horizontal movement to zero. So this would be an excellent place to make sure that we are on the wall. So we'll set that to true. Now the next thing we need to do is if we are on the wall, we don't want to apply the regular gravity. What we could do is we could overtake the gravity and just apply something smaller. So for instance, we could say if we are on the wall, so if on wall equals true, then what we want to do is instead of taking this movement plus gravity, we'll copy it in, but let's change it to our movement speed is going to equal whatever the gravity is divided by 10. So right now my gravity is one. That means that the vertical movement is going to be actually 0.1. So if I actually run my game, this should work, but we should notice a problem here. If I come up and I jump on the wall, you can see that I'm sliding down very slowly until I let go. Same if I fall here, I slide down slow and I slide down slow and then I let go. Now the problem is, is if I'm holding my right arrow key and I hit my jump button, we don't get the jump that's expected, which is this high. We automatically go into that if statement. Now luckily we can fix this and this is actually very easy to do. So when we are talking about vertical movement, if we go into the main room and we check out our player, you can see our player is at 192 and then the Y position of 160. So if we have a positive vertical movement, then that number is going to go up. If we have a negative vertical movement, then that number is going to go down. So what that means is we could check the vertical movement here to say if the vertical movement is bigger than zero then we want to apply the gravity because when we jump we're going to apply a negative value to that vertical movement and then once we hit the top of our jump we will turn into a positive vertical movement and then we can apply the special gravity so that means i can run my game with this one line change if i'm over here and i'm pressing the left you can see that i can jump up and I jump to where is expected. The same thing, I can fall down and then I can come over here, I can jump on the wall or I can be pressing against the wall and jump up and the same thing, the same jump height is applied. So with that little bit of code, we're able to do a nice wall slide. You'll probably want to play around with the gravity. You could have something where it's just divided in half. So that would be 0 0.05. So it's not something extremely, um, extremely slow, but you get the point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching the video. A special shout out to those who have taken the extra mile and shown their support on Patreon. Annie, Thysite, Ashby, Paul, Mary, Timothy, Susie, Game Maker Community, Victor, Robert, and Edward. Once again, thank you all, and I'll have more content coming out in the upcoming weeks on both the Patreon site and also this channel, so stay tuned.